this is uh, some millet. Uh, this is a uh, pearl millet. The exact. This is the uh, paddock where our heifers were. There's all our videos about uh, the uh, grazing, uh, <clears throat> the winter rye and uh, wintering our heifers, red heifers up here and the cabin up here. This was seeded maybe a month ago. It's uh, up to the top of the four wheeler tires, so it's over a foot tall. Uh, we do have some uh, buttonweed, velvet leaf, or whatever it's called, um, pigweed, velvet uh, leaf, lamb exporter, um, and some thistle problems here. That's what we were spraying. They calibrated to run about five miles an hour. Well, I'll put out the right amount of product per acre. That's basically the extent of it. Um, these guys around in circles. Uh, it looks like foxtail. I guess that's the best comparison so far. There's a little wee spot. This is where we were feeding them. But it's a whole lot better than a whole bunch of weed. But actually, we're gonna try to knock out the uh, broad leaves and get a good stand of uh, millet growing, double harvest for hay. Hopefully, at least once, but maybe twice, and then we can graze it off. We'll see how it goes. Um, we can spray some other stuff that is uh, like twice as tall as this. That we did earlier. sorghum today yes, uh, uh, yet today so uh, this little thinner here is where it's been severely compacted but uh, this is what the mill looks like there's corn there from uh, I guess feeding cows <laughs> uh, my GPS is, uh, is guessing I do a better job but I'm not trying to do a video uh, if I turn around and I know where I'm coming back and I can line them up all right but um, yeah this was, uh, was uh, seated with the four-wheeler uh, harrowed in it's uh, as you can see it's looking really good we'll see how it yields um, we'll end up putting uh, something else in here this fall yet because we'll probably end up with uh, heifers or something up here again that'll just hurt uh, to um, to uh, dirt. Uh, long term, my experience so far with any annual crop is uh, a good, good uh, sod, pasture sod, will out yield any of this, especially economically. And then we'll slow down around here so we can get a little bit more on there. But until we get our uh, everything back into some good productive sod, uh, we're gonna keep trying our annuals. So this, is, anyway, this is a uh, pearl millet uh, over a foot tall within less than a month or almost a month, uh, middle of July. Just spraying the broad leaves out of it. We'll be harvesting it for hay. Uh, oh, another month six weeks I gotta check my uh, my chemical withdrawals but as, as far as I know what I've rather gathered uh, there is no uh, no withdrawal for, for uh, meat animals uh, grazing or hay hay might be you have to wait a couple or a week or ten days or two weeks but we'll definitely check them out before we do anything but uh, we're still a little ways off on this stuff anyway for making forage but uh, try to keep our weeds under control. So anyway, thanks for watching. Questions, comments up on YouTube stuff as always. And